Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. So today I wanted to share a story coming out of uh, my home state, California. Uh, several districts in this state are going to be doing away with D's and F's uh, as grades. And they're going to be replaced with incompletes. Now, before I get into the meat of this, uh, I will just say to maybe everyone's surprise, I am in support of this. I think it's a good idea. Um, why I want to talk about it is because like so many things that happen, um, this is widely misunderstood and uh, it's being judged by a lot of people who um, ironically uh, are not very educated on this system. Uh, and didn't read the actual news about it. They probably just read the headlines. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to lay some of that out and why I think it's a good idea. Um, the, the big beef with this, of course, is, uh, oh, we're just handing out participation trophies. You know, C's are going to be the new F's. Uh, we're, just, we're just teaching kids that they don't have to put in their best foot forward and earn it and you know all that kind of stuff um, that's not what this is at all uh, this actually is uh, a, a system that will help ensure kids get through the educational programs um, and that they make it through and uh, that they really get the concepts so they can move forward and be successful uh, rather than simply saying you failed you didn't do it um, and, and why this is kind of a concern for me is uh, I wonder what people's expectations are for education. Um, there's this sort of underlying implication sometimes I, I feel like, um, like it's a zero-sum game or like uh, some kids are just going to be left behind and are not going to make it and that we we shouldn't sugarcoat education and let some kids think that they're just as smart as the really smart kids in their class by giving them a free ride uh, and it is a um, it's a misnomer again because that's not what this is uh, I, I, um, I get worried with uh, the idea of, of like failure in schools, um, to, to me, in my opinion, um, failure is, uh, is when you quit. It's when you give up. It's when you decide something's not for you and you move on. Um, that's not what our goal should be for students. Um, it should be empowering them. Um, and uh, the idea that we need to throw Fs on kids in order for them to, I don't know, know that they can't cut it, know that they're not good enough, know that they're not smart enough, uh, I just don't, I don't buy into that. Um, this program, uh, w what it will do is if a student... Uh, fails to successfully pass a test by our standards of pass or fail, uh, they receive a, an incomplete and they're given a chance to take the test again, to study it over, to re, uh, relearn everything um, and, and do it again. And, you know, ironically enough, for those of you who saw my my short video yesterday, uh, I went through that testing period four times before I succeeded. Um, and I, that doesn't make me stupid or a failure. Um, you know, it just means I took a certain amount of time to, to, uh, to get it, <laughs> uh, to, to nail it down. Um, and uh, the idea that it's a one and done kind of thing, like, okay, you failed, you're done. 
I, I don't I don't personally think that's a um, particularly good system. I can remember being in middle school and um, not quite being up there with the more advanced math class and um, thinking that I was going to fall behind and, and I was never going to be able to catch up because if you don't get in the advanced math class in seventh grade, you're not going to be able to take the next level class in eighth grade, which means you're not going to be able to take that next level class in ninth grade, which means by the time you get to twelfth grade, you're not going to be taking the most advanced course, uh, which you need to be in order to be competitive to go to a university. Um, that is the mindset that the educational system oftentimes gives kids in this country. Uh, I think that the idea of something like this is to take that feeling away, that feeling of this is it, this is my one shot to get this right, otherwise I may as well just go apply to McDonald's. Um, and, and I think the thing that really sticks out to me uh, when, you, when you see stories like this and people revert back to the this is participation trophies nonsense, because that's not what it is. Um, it's this idea that uh, we want some kids to fail. We need to have the winners and the losers. Uh, we need to have um, we need to have some kids fail and fall short in order to validate the success of the elite. Uh, and I just. I don't see that being a particularly good um, or uh, productive um, system to, to uh, implement into our kids. I think that um, the idea of proficiency, the idea of persistence and hard work, and going at something again if you fall short the first time, getting back up and pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and, and moving forward... Uh, I, I think these are, I think these are good things, and I think that they they represent um, American ideals, or at least that I, idealism that we 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 say we have, or we think we have. Um, so I just would uh, I would definitely encourage people to uh, to read more into this program before trashing it. Um, Education isn't a zero-sum game. Uh, I think that if we want to uh, lift up our kids um, and, and, and realize that those kids are, I know it's a cliche, but they are the future. And uh, I, I just think that um, learning doesn't have to be a one-shot, you failed deal. I think that... Uh, you know, as a as a student of life myself, um, we're always trying to learn and get better. And uh, I, I just think that um, it's a good system. I think that uh, that kids should be uh, be comfortable in the knowledge that they're going to be able to get where they need to go. Um, they might just do it on their own pace, but it's going to be the pace that works for them and, and um, helps them to be successful, and help empower uh, future children as well. Anyway, uh, thanks for checking on me. I will catch up with you all again very soon. Have a great rest of your day, and remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.